Alrighty, so today we are going to be doing an account tour of Gone, or Gone, I'm not exactly, I, I assume it's Gone, uh, but I, maybe I'm saying that with more of a southern accent, so it doesn't sound quite right to me. But either way, we're going to be showcasing Gon's account today. He is the guy that I've been using. Um, his he, He's been gracious enough to let me use his account to showcase a lot of the new uh, collab characters, which is super, super generous of him. Really do appreciate that. But uh, he has, if I'm not mistaken, the last time he said uh, or talked to me about it, it was the fourth best account on Global. I think we can check that somehow, if I'm not mistaken. It might take me a minute. But um, he is the vice captain of Zenith, which is like one of the top guilds, if not the top guild. I'm not 100% sure that i don't really keep up with the you know guild world but um very very prestigious uh very very crazy account as you can see he has the umbra uh, title which is one of the ones where you have to have i think you have to become first place in final boss if i'm not mistaken so uh yeah one of the biggest notable factors about this account is that he is at 15 million box cc he's really close to the 15.4 uh, million box CC account buff. Uh, at this point, the, the game actually allows you to go up to 17 million, but um, I think it would be pretty far-fetched to say, you know, anybody can even make it there right now. Uh, as you can see, he's almost 20% of the way into Constellation of Pride, which means that he's getting a huge buff um, to his stats from the actual Gluttony Constellation being done at this point, so very, very cool. Um, crazy crazy you know account in general we're gonna try to do it by level ascending um just out of curiosity i assume that means that he has yeah he has every single character in the game at level 100 which i was very curious about because i i've seen a couple of whale accounts at this point i've played on several um thanks to the crazy community that we have for some reason people want to approach me to look at their accounts for some reason which is just I don't know, baffling to me, because I'm just some dude, but I don't know. Um, this is the only account so far that I've seen that actually has every single character at level 100, which is a pretty big feat, I think, because it takes just a ton of grinding, the OG materials that it takes, the Belmoth materials that it takes, uh, the XP potions, the pendants is a huge one. Um, it's just absolutely wild. The fact that he can literally just be like, okay, I only need to stock up enough uh, materials at this point for new characters that come out is just mind-blowing to me because i'm i'm constantly trying to like hoard materials and work on my box while simultaneously being able to you know level 100 every character that comes out so that way i can sort of max them out and showcase them for the channel um it's just it's just beyond wild to me it's just crazy to think about in just that kind of capacity i guess this account is just absolutely stacked uh but obviously you can see that he has you know he's just sitting on an easy 6.2 thousand gems you know whatever no big deal which is hilarious um yeah i don't know just absolutely insane i'm sure he has like tons of ur gear sets and everything which we can kind of look at from uh you know, just a broad perspective. I don't want to spend too much time just looking at all kinds of crazy gear, but it looks like he has um, these two pieces. I wouldn't consider that to be like a full set, but one, two, three, four, five, six sets for Melly that are complete. Um, I think I have five full sets on my account, so, you know, almost a whale myself, if I, you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> not even close but he does also have ur gear pieces for all of the runes and belts for the other pieces or the other meliotis as well so i'm sure that's a big part of where your box cc actually comes from uh just a ton of engraving stones go into this kind of stuff so really 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 crazy absolutely wild i normally sort my box personally by heroes ascending so that way i have all of my meliotis and stuff at the top but um yeah i uh I, I'm in love with the with the account. It's it, it's so good. Uh, just being able to go into PvP and basically use whatever team you want. Like you can actually run fun teams when your CC is this high, and you you can still stand a chance and not get immediately just out CC'd and ran over by the demon team. Uh, is fantastic. Just 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 great. Uh, awesome actually. Uh, Curiosity is like all of the newer characters. So he he does have like Max Red Liz, which is crazy to think about. Uh, I know a lot of people kind of just, you know, there's a couple of new characters that come out from time to time that are pretty throwaway. You don't necessarily like, you're not like, ah, you know, these characters are whatever. I don't even really need to like 6-6 six, six the character. I just want to grab them for a box CC. Obviously, he has a lot of the top 100 characters. It, he actually has them all. Um, with, uh, I'm assuming they're all maxed out ultimate levels. So, Waylo is maxed out. Uh, there's uh, 
a Gil Thunder. I can't remember exactly where Gil Thunder is. I'm looking at him right. Uh, yeah, this Gil Thunder is also a top 100 character, completely maxed ultimate. And then the other one is Helbrum, the human version of Helbrum. I don't, oh, he's right here actually. And he does have him 6'6 six, six as well. So that's also kind of crazy to think about. Um, are there any characters that I would just be like, wow, he actually has this character 6'6. Six, six. Um, maybe some of the older collab characters potentially. So he has, uh, this is the SSR Aaron or the SR Aaron. So that one's actually not 6'6 six, six, or he is 6'6 six, six because you get him for free. Um, the old school Aaron, not 6'6, six, six, which honestly, it, I guess it just depends on sort of like when you started your account and everything. He doesn't have a 6'6 six, six on the Levi either. You can tell that he has the paid cosmetics though, which this, this set is really cool to me. I really wish I would have bought this one when it was out. So hopefully we do end up getting a rerun of Attack on Titan somewhat soon. Um, Mikasa is also at 2-6, so honestly, completely understandable that those ones aren't 6-6 six, six per se, uh, just because they're really old characters. Green Ludo is also 6-6, six, six, which is crazy. Um, Stranger Things characters, so he has a 6-6 six, six on 11. On Jim, oh, he's got the, <laughs> I forgot. I don't, I don't have some of these outfits either. So, okay, only a 3-6 on the mic. And then he does have a 6-6 six, six on the wheel, which is pretty funny. I, I can honestly not fault you for that because <laughs> Mike is so bad that it's not even worth having like extra ult levels on him or whatever. I mean, obviously, I guess with this kind of account, you'd, you'd want as much as possible so that way you go for just pure CC. But um, yeah, pretty, pretty reasonable there, I think. Um, the fact that you get the Freya as the, the account representative character is, uh, I'm sure a lot of people respect that. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Red Miguelda, per se. Okay, already 6'6 six, six as well. Honestly, just absolutely wild. Like, just to think about that, like, all of these characters, even, like, a lot of them don't get used at all. Um, so it's really understandable. Let me move my camera over here. So that way you can actually see. So, that, you know, 6'6 six, six melee, 6'6 six, six melee. Uh, you know, even the Halloween melee is 6'6, six, six, which is funny to me. Wait, actually, is it? Yeah, this one's the 6'6 the, the six, six melee. Or the, the Halloween. But this one's just got his <laughs> outfit on for whatever reason. Of course, you got the Lost Veins 6'6. Six, six. You got all of the Demon Meliodas is 6'6. Six, six. Yeah, everything. It's just max chilling on this one. So, uh absolutely wild to think about let me um let me pull up i think there's a way to look at like how high your um your like box cc is compared to everyone else let me see if i can find that really quickly okay so i think this is where it's at his team combat class ranking which i don't know how how often you sort of update this thing but he's at rank seven we have Antu, Spoof, Sheena, who's he's in he's in the same guild as well. We have Sandy, Quinn, um, Shadow, and then Gone is down here. Which honestly, rank seven is wild. Like there's thousands of players, so you know it's absolutely nuts to think about. Uh, if we go to all on box CC, we still are. He is still fourth, which is awesome. It's funny too because he has it like perfectly registered to be uh, 15 million four hundred thousand exactly whereas you can see some of these other accounts have like the the extra numbers here and stuff like that so i like i can respect the fact that he went the extra effort um and sort of registered it while he had <laughs> like the perfect zeroed out uh number there which is awesome so he's actually the only member of zenith in the top five which is pretty cool um i don't know I, liquid metal i want to say is Liquid Metal's in my Discord as well. I don't know what attracts all of these crazy top tier players to me, but <laughs> I seem to know a lot of them at this point, which I've been playing the game for a long time too. The game has been out for over three years, um, at least for the global version. It's over three and a half years at this point, I want to say, or no, maybe not quite three and a half, but uh, the game's been out for a really long time. So obviously I've had a lot of time to sort of get to know a lot of these uh like account names and stuff. I don't necessarily know the people behind them, but uh, let me try to find, well, let's look through the inventory actually. The inventory should be interesting. Out of curiosity, I wanna see, so he's missing, what is that, 12, 13 cards? Um, which all of this is completely RNG. There's no way to whale uh, the artifact cards at all. I'm actually still missing, I think I have the Merlin. I think I'm still missing the 
Escanar card, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe the Gother card. I can't remember exactly which ones I'm missing, but I would imagine that you have a lot of them. Do you have Cluximus out of curiosity? No. I really want to see somebody with Cluximus. This is like the hardest card in the game to get. He has terrible stats as well, but just out of curiosity. Just wanted to check that. Um, sitting on 125... Uh, Twilight sources, which I can only imagine that you have every single relic in the game. I guess we can check that really quickly, right? Before we go too deep into the inventory. So if we go to Creature's Nest, uh, if we do hide, you have every single relic. Even even caught up on the Nidhogg relics, which is completely understandable at this point. Um, sitting on an extra 47 of the Nidhogg ones, which is quite crazy to me. Uh, just a ton of deer ones. Uh, no, actually not as many cosmetic upgrade materials as I was kind of expecting, but I'm sure you've probably had to be burning through some of those with the new characters and everything that's gotten released, because obviously four new characters dropping, um, uh, having to, you know, spend a lot of mats on those characters. Sitting on 600 OG demon mats, which like I said, at this point, I'm sure he can be a lot more picky with the, the amount of materials that he's just sitting on in the box. So you can see he does have like a he can have a max inventory of 525, which is the highest that it goes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but he's only sitting at 449, which is you know that's quite a lot of free space that he has. But because his box is already fully level 100, it's not like he even needs to be sitting on 850 Howlix ears. You know what I mean? So like he could potentially even get rid of some of those to save more space if he wanted to. Uh, the only reason I think I end up sitting on a lot of, uh, of materials, God, all of these super awakening coins, um, is just because that I like to be able to, I guess, just gear gotcha longer. Like, I can just let it sit there for a lot longer because my inventory ends up filling up or my equipment ends up filling up. So that's like a big part of me just having extra inventory space. Uh, 121 dark red crystals. It, it would be interesting to know how many of these were purchased versus how many of them are actually grinded out because i would imagine he probably has a lot easier of a time running nidhogg than i do because he has such a stacked account but at the same time nidhogg is still really annoying to the point to where i still want to buy <laughs> nidhogg materials but i wonder if that kind of gets alleviated with um with having such a crazy account i would be i'd be curious to know i guess sitting on just an absolute ton of these just regular mats. I don't know. I'm not even sure what the point in sitting on these is because you already have so many. Like I, I guess me personally, I like to have at least enough of these materials to build one more relic. Uh, even though I'm completely done with the bird, deer, and dogs, I sit on enough to make sure that if they ever do randomly decide to add a new relic to it, I can build a relic whenever I need to. But I guess if they add multiple relics, it's still like absolutely completely set, good to go. <laughs> so kind of crazy to think about. Got some extra dark and light books sitting around, which is interesting. <laughs> Seven, 713 SSR pendants. Um, that is speechless i i really don't know what to say about that honestly like i know i would imagine a lot of the bundles and everything on this account probably are already purchased if i had to guess which i guess we could check that as well sitting on only a thousand anvils but i will give that a pass because i know that pr i would assume at this point the only thing he needs to do uh to new characters is build gear for them and everything sitting on 285 hammers <laughs> That's absolutely crazy to me. Lots of cubes. Not as many cubes as I was expecting with a lot of the other materials being so high. Um, I always end up fusing these with Merlin, so I don't ever sit on any of these enhancement or like awakening materials at this point. Um, oh my god, tons of these. I end up cutting down on a lot of these as well. <laughs> Sitting on 43,000, which might not seem that crazy considering, you know, you probably do have to build a lot of gear and it takes just a lot of money and a lot of these stones to sort of just build a brand new gear set just out of nowhere. Um, sitting on, of course, a lot of food materials. Actually, not as much as I was expecting. Uh, might be out of some of the food materials, actually, with it being this short. Uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Has the Gloxenia costume box as a memento, because I'm sure he already had it, and then they got re-ran. So that's actually kind of a cool keepsake. I think I end up always opening mine, just because I can get the enhancement materials out of it. But honestly, I wish I would I wish I would have kept a, a couple of like cool keepsakes, because I know some people sit on um, 
Like this is the, oh, this is a, <laughs> an extra way low just sitting in the inventory, which is kind of funny to me. Um, some people sit on like really old like banner tickets and stuff, which I think is super cool as like just a memento of like, hey, I've been playing long enough to where I just I just have this ticket on my account. I, which I, I just think it's really neat. My God, 215 event dungeon key bundles. Um, I, I mean, obviously you're not using your sapphire boxes. I just use those just to get them out of my inventory at this point. But uh, I know a lot of the times. I figured there was going to be a lot of these. I, a lot of the times, people will save those just for gear gotcha stuff. Um, sitting on almost 10,000, almost 10,000 UR treasure boxes. Um, not nearly as many as the other ones, actually. Only 1380 of the SSR ones. Uh, still have no idea what these are. I, I, know, I know that they're for Guild Wars, but couldn't tell you what they do at all. Um, sitting on a bunch of extra, like, you know, little giftable items i don't think i keep any of these actually i think i sell them <laughs> but i don't know kind of interesting uh obviously tons and tons of tons of tons of gear um is there anything else really interesting to show off wasn't i gonna look at something a second ago oh okay i think it was bundles if i'm not mistaken and blah 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 um so out of curiosity so he has already bought all of the diamond bundles, all of the anvil and hammer bundles, which I think that's understandable. See, at this point, like I'm, I'm almost kind of surprised he hasn't bought this. He's bought two of them out of the five that you can buy. Um, I would imagine stuff like this, like the big, you know, the big thing that you want to buy from these is normally the evolution pendants. But because his box is already caught up, there's not really any reason to buy them at this point. So I think that that's really kind of like funny to think about. It's just like the fact that, you know, it's literally like there's not anything he's lacking on to the point to where he's like, or besides gear stuff, of course, gear is always going to be one um, that is a little bit more interesting. But just just to think about the fact that he's just like, ah, eh, like I don't even I can buy this bundle, but I don't need to because I'm so caught up. It's just wild to think about. All right, so let's look at the titles really quickly, and then I think we'll call it because I don't... Uh, well, we can actually check and see what his high CC team is in PvP, potentially. Obviously, we're not going to worry about too much like gear moving or anything like that, but he does have the Umbra one. This is one of the only SSR titles in the game. I would love to try to get one myself, but uh, the SSR ones are always like absolutely ridiculous to get a hold of. Which ones are you missing? Actually, quite a few, which I'm also missing quite a few as well. So Fight Festival Victor... Um, I think this means that you have to place number one in ungeared PvP. Um, I assume just once. I don't know for sure on that. Uh, kind of surprised he doesn't have this one, actually, if I'm being completely honest. Um, I think this is, yeah, being number one in geared PvP. I imagine it gets really sweaty, and you'd probably have to spend a ton of diamonds refreshing your PvP, like, stamina count on this one, so... I would give you a pass on this just because I wouldn't want to do it, but uh, I don't know what this one is. I'm assuming this is like placing in the top area so many times or something like that. I'm actually missing a lot of the uh, the food bonus ones that aren't like super important, so not really too worried about that. Battlefield Conquer, I don't remember what this one is. Finish first and f okay, so this is the finish first and fight festival elite. So I don't even know what this one is then. Elite Gladiator. I am the best in ranking match. So maybe this is for top 100, maybe? Um, I know there's a lot of new, yeah, Labyrinth-looking ones. Um, I'm actually... I really want to get Labyrinth Master. I think that that would be cool. I'm actually using Deeper right now, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it's not Deeper. Uh, is there a different one that's rare? I don't think there is. Maybe it is Deeper that I'm using. Or something. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's, maybe it's Explorer or something. Maybe he, yeah, he already has that one. So it's definitely Explorer because I don't think it's deep. Okay, so I was going to look at final boss victories and I was not entirely sure. I had to look through a lot of different stuff, but it, you just go through here and then click on the little icon here. So only top 1% in, I can't even remember which one this is for, honestly, battle history. Okay, so this is for final boss Droll and Gloxenia. Here are the owned crowns. He has top 100 in Final Boss Dian Season 5. So, so old. Um, Final Boss Merlin. It doesn't even say what season that is. Omega Rugal. Uh, Dariary and Monspeed. We have the Dreyfus and Hendrickson fight. 
Uh, we have third place in the Peace or Three uh, Powerful Brothers, which is the Meliodas, Zeldris, and Estorosa fight. Then they brought it back at some point, and he got top 100 in that one, which is pretty cool. Um, he got Platinum Crown, which is first place in Final Bossaria, which that one was absolutely nuts to me so the fact that he got his umbra title off of this one is pretty impressive like that fight was really stupid <laughs> um top 100 in the ludociel final boss as well and then this is for season two uh with final boss go through he got second place so honestly super 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 cool um hall of fame i don't know what any of this stuff is honestly at this point um are these like uh oh these are the i forgot they did like the challenges or whatever i was like is this like hacking but no this is they, there was like a weird way that you could use like liz hawk to like max stack damage or something like that to get like a crazy crazy score but uh yeah honestly very very impressive super 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 cool that i got to actually tour this thing and actually look at all of the stuff which is awesome uh, i don't really think that there's anything else that would be interesting to show if i'm not mistaken um obviously by the if this comes like by the time this comes out if you leave a comment on it i probably <laughs> it's it's too late but um yeah absolutely insanity uh crazy crazy account love to see it but uh yeah that's basically it for me uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe and all that good stuff if you haven't already. And I will see you guys uh, in the next one.